home tonight. Real see the Golden's DA Jim. Thank you, Kevin. Indeed it is. Thank you, DA. And now the Golden State Warriors start. The core of this team all out there. Curry and Thompson in the backcourt with Green at the four. Looney out there with Andrew Wiggins. And for the Pelicans, up front it's Williamson at the four. And Dallin Junis at the five. McCollum and Jones are their guards. And it's Ingram in at the small forward position. Thompson for the triple. It's too early in the season, and teams are still trying to figure out rotations. Greg, what's it like to play in a game like that tonight? Well, for a lot of these guys, Kevin, it's all about jockeying for a position, making an argument for minutes, and you want to earn the trust of your coaches. Curry outside. Trains the three-pointer step. And this is what you think of first with three Curry. Points. His three-point shooting ability is just otherworldly. Ingram passes to Jones. Out to Ingram. Shot from the wing. And it's Looney with the rebound. Last game in New Orleans, they picked up the win against the Boston Celtics. And it's Wiggins missing. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need to pass. Now, if Sion gets that close, and it's a position that he likes, that backboard's going to be shaken. On the wing, Wiggins. Over Ingram. And Wiggins gets it to go oh, on the Wiggins. assist by Curry. Almost perfect in the game to start three of four. The Pelicans have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. I'm taking a look at the Pelicans. Lots of talent have come through that program over the years, and they're loaded now. Yeah, they brought in some talent. They've done a good job in the draft and trying to find ways to hold on to these guys along with having a healthy Zion. All that comes together. It's definitely going to help their chances to be more competitive. Golden State's gone 2-2 two two from three-point range here in the first quarter. Here's Curry. High-quality look, and he says it. Curry's got five points so far. Well, right now, Steph is just toying with the defense, and it feels like he is the puppeteer in this basketball game. Jones kicks to McCullough. Over Green. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Still searching out their offensive game right now. One of five from the field to start this one. Yeah, really good defensive play to come in out there and square up. Outside, Jones. New Orleans moving the ball around. Here's Valanciunas. And it's Looney with the rebound. Warriors have gone four or five from the field so far. Here's Green. And off the left side of the rim, and it Green. swirls in for him. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Yeah, if you walked in at any point during this game to watch five minutes of play, one team play hard, you know who that was. Well, I like it when he goes vertical, but I like it when he stays there. How about Zion getting up? Count it. Curry's got his third basket of the night right there. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Colin passes it to Ingram. Back to McCollum. Right block shot. Great D that time from Green. Here's the Warriors with the ball. They're on a 14 to 4 run right now. Looney and the Warriors take on two more. Defensively Assisted. giving up far too many open rhythm looks. Colin passes to Ingram. Here's Van Jones. And the dunk by Van Brandon Ingram at that size able to survey the entire floor and make a play. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. Their last encounter was in New Orleans where they were able to get the Pelicans. Yeah, they cruised to a win in these teams' last encounter. And their field goal percentage was off the charts. And the Warriors with a completely new five on the floor. And, and while it took Brandon Ingram some time, he has really turned into Jordan an Poole. incredible player. Well, he's an amazing scorer. He's adding that ability to pass the ball and see the floor. So often we hear about players talking about the game slowing down. Well, for Ingram, it's getting to a snail's pace. And Hayes throws it down. Hey. Kevin, he is tough to, to stop when he gets to the rim. Yeah, great. He can get up a few notches higher. 
Here's Igudala. It's rebounded by Hayes. Pelicans trailed by 11. Here's Alvarado. And Warrior. foul on the shot, so he'll get that a chance at the line. Vincenzo. A break between Personal major box. injuries and some high play by a roster turnover. It's been an up and down last couple of years for the Warriors. Yeah, mostly due, Kevin, to injuries. I mean, through it all, they've managed to continue to play with joy. They've given a lot of guys opportunities to just be out there. And then you know, they drafted and rebuilt the team behind the big three to complement those guys as they found their health. So the, the run is still there for Golden State to do great things. You know, winning a championship last year has them back on the top of the mountain. Here's DiVincenzo. Here's Green, and he drops in the layup off the glass. Michael Green. Excellent all-around performance so far against the big lead. Well, if I was baking up a lead, I'd add two ingredients. One would be playing smart. The other one, playing selfless. They've done that tonight. Serve it up. Pass to Alvarado. And that one is off. Great D that time from Green. Goes up at the stripe. Pelicans pull it in. Not a bad shot from the mid-range. The D's giving it to him, and he's usually got an eye in that kind of range. Uh, mid-range is where he makes the money. So when the D's slow to get out on him, always surprising to see him miss from there. Green. Basket, good. Man, he's got that touch that working tonight, shooting the ball very well to start this one. Passes to Nance. And the jam by Larry Nance. I know CJ plays the two-guard position alongside Lillard, but he does have point guard vision, and that's a great find. Right side green, tries from 16, again Golden State. 34 seconds left to play here in the first. Down low, and then shoves it in. Just so easy, the way Larry Nance Jr. just gets up off the floor. Looking at the last game for the Golden State Warriors, it was a win against Houston. Poole kicks to Kaminga. The offensive rebound goes back up. And Iguodala finishes inside. Uh, a team's rebounding is a great measure of its energy. And theirs has been terrific here in the first quarter. To the inside. And Hayes throws it down. But Nance is just such a cerebral player out there. Does a good job of trying to be a threat with the assist. Iguodala right side. Over Hayes. Missed the chippy right there. And so it's the Golden State Warriors. Holding on to the 11 point cushion as we get ready to take a break. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. And we'll be right back after this. right from the tip. They've been relentless offensively. Well, just taking it right at the opposition and the other team right now. No answers and no way to slow them down. Running on the wing, they'll have Jones and Ingram. Jonas Valanciunas is out there with Hernan Gomez. And it's McCollum in the point guard position. That's the Pelicans five as we get into the second quarter. Personal five. It is amazing how good a three-point shooter Giannis Valanciunas has been. He didn't attempt to three in his first five years in the NBA. And now he's shooting a ton of them. So he's got great feel, great touch, and it's done a lot to round out his game. Valanciunas hits them both. That he is can be. Talk more, Brent, about what Jonas Valanciunas means to the game. Truly the definition of consistency. Jonas Valanciunas averaging double-digit scoring for 11 straight seasons. Come and on, a double-double no. the last four. That's the epitome of a guy who does the dirty work and produces. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Olin. David. Thank you, Kevin. Last season, we know the Pelicans made that trade to bring in C.J. McCollum. He says, I think it's a match made in heaven. I'm happy to be here. The cool part is that I haven't had to make any real adjustments. The way I play is the right way. Kevin, back to you. Well, and he's completely changing teams midseason. Tough thing to do, but he is a veteran that can certainly handle it. Ball in his hands. Good things usually happen. Hey, David, thank you for that story. 
A true on the 14-footer. Come on, Luna. Looney's got the lead up to 13 now for the Warriors. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Here's Ingram. Warriors with the rebound. Looney's got six rebounds in the game. Here's Thompson. Here's Green. And he lays it straight in. Draymond, Draymond. Draymond. And the Warriors lead by 15. And Draymond just eating glass that time on the inside, finding some room, carving out space. Great activity. And that is called first of the game for the Pelican. Well, Draymond's IQ on the defensive end is so high level. I think that's going to be a huge advantage with him as an analyst because he's going to talk to you from a perspective you don't much hear from. Usually it's from guys who score a lot of points in the NBA, but what he did defensively, he could communicate that quite well. Williamson is checked in for New Orleans. Looney with the bucket. This is opening up scoring opportunities because Curry's such a great shooter, guys are going to be open. Inside, here's Valanciunas. Good, and the assist goes to Williamson. Valanciunas has got six. Green's broadcasting has even helped his opponents in some cases. Yours probably has too, Kevin, in some instances. But with Draymond, I think what's cool is guys are listening. And when Draymond starts to talk about some of the techniques he uses or some of the things he's looking out for, uh, guys understand that that can improve their game. So why not take it from one of the best in the business? Pass to Wiggins. It's stolen by Valanciunas. It's three on three on the fast break. Shoots from eight. McCollum, no good. Yeah, pretty safe to say that this is the kind of game that you just want to flush as soon as you get done with it. And he gets the bucket. Eight points for Clay Thompson. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. And there's the pass to Ingram. Back to McCollum. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. McCollum's got his first two points. CJ has always had that uncanny ability to just land on his feet, kind of like a cat. He absorbs that contact Stephen and completes Curry. the play. Another good play. This is how they built the lead, calling on the right guys at the right time. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but its importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Here's Looney. He hits the back Get iron and sinks the shot. That's Ten points for him. And that Seven. keeps him perfect from the field this quarter. It's Ingram on the wing. Williamson against Wiggins. Two minutes remaining. Back to Williamson. Two minutes. Down it goes for his third basket, and it's been a try. And you see players trying to get the officials to blow the whistle. Were players in your day great falling down as much as they seem to be doing now? Oh, it's way more common now. Let's face it, it's a copycat league. All the whistles slow the game down. I just love to see them let a little bit more go. Looking at who's out there now for the Warriors. Green, he's checked in for Wiggins. Kaminga comes in for Clay Thompson. Jordan and Poole Poole. subbed in for three. Big. And Poole just deadly from three. A minute 42 left in the first half of basketball. Outside, Jones. Gets rebounded by Golden State. Looney's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Here's Kuminga, and it's blocked. Two with the ball, and Curry picks him up defensively. To the middle. Here's Nance. Down it goes for his third basket and his many tries. You got to do better than that on Larry Nance Jr. Outstanding at keeping his balance even after getting hit. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for Golden State. Coming into this, having nice to win against the Rockets in their last game. And sometimes it's a lot harder to get easy bucks on the road, but they found ways to get their guys for the Warriors. Well, there's probably a good feeling in that last game that the mid-range work, the long-range work, the inside game work, but the best feeling was the crowd leaving that building not in a good mood. He hits one, then misses the second attempt from the free-throw line. 
Well, there's been some interesting moves in the Bayou, and uh, this team has set up a roster that I think has some great potential. I mean, there's a lot of talent, a lot of interesting players that are on this roster, and I'm excited for their future. The three-pointer is right on target. And he's going to punish you if you leave him open. He's more than willing to take the open three when he's got it. Alvarado passes to Nance. Pool against Jones. Six to shoot. New Orleans needs to get off a shot. And it's Alvarado missing. Golden State's gotten two-thirds of their three-pointers to fall tonight. They're six of nine overall. Here's Poole. Again, Golden State. Jordan Poole. Just such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. Out left of the wing. Here's Murphy. And then Murphy will pick up. I love the effort there. An undersized four who can really make things happen with that leaping ability. So as we conclude That's the first half, so far, fairly one-sided. Warriors ahead, delivering the blowouts. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Steve. Some Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. Golden State had no problems getting going. Near flawless execution from both the defensive and offensive areas of their game triggered a 12-2 run to start things off. They found their rhythm early in this one, jumping out to an 11-point advantage. Then in quarter number two, it was all hands on deck, and what a show it was. Quality execution, good efficiency, some tremendous defensive play helped them take a decisive advantage, and they're running away with this one. Taking a look at the Warriors, Kenny, what'd you think? They're controlling the boards in the middle. Seems like it might have been their game plan coming in. Send multiple guys to the rim when the shot goes up. Shaq, how do you think New Orleans played? It's their defense that's put them in this spot. Giving up easy looks all over the place. It's like they don't have even a, a, a game plan. That's all for now. Say goodbye to the folks. Thank well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. You think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. And here are the Pelicans now, setting the floor for the Warriors. The core of this team all out there, Curry and Johnson in the backcourt with Green at the four. Higgins is out there with Kevon Looney. And that's the way it should be. Ingram aggressive to the rack. On its way from Curry for two. Stan's enemy is a very efficient five for six on the game. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. Yeah, and the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. And here's McCullum for three. Here's Valanciunas. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Great D that time from Green. Yeah, they're going to try to search out for somebody that's got a hot hand right now. One of four Stephen. to start the half. Well, part of their game plan was to block out the noise and just stay focused. Always a good sign of maturity and steps forward when you can take this kind of effort, focus, and concentration on the road to get a win. Team starts the second half missing four or five shots. When does the coach possibly call a timeout and reiterate what he Dream talked about at halftime? Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. Yeah, the other team a bit concerned here. They're trailing, and the lead seems to be growing. Yeah, that's one way to get back into this game. Keep getting him the ball and let him make the shots. We saw Andrew Wiggins take a big step forward when he went to Golden State in 2020. A lot of people think that's a subtle change, but I actually think it's a lot bigger. When you get a player of Andrew Wiggins' caliber who is born to score, and you adjust some of the shot selection and how offensively he's staying engaged, that's a big difference, both physically and mentally. It's been a big uptick for him, along with his defensive presence. Yeah, but they're three of four to start the second half. 
Jones looking for an opening. And he's fouled Over pretty hard on that foul. shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Some of these take time to get acclimated to the NBA. But that was not the case with Herbert Jones. Yeah, Herb started his second game in the league, and for a second-round pick to make that immediate of an impact was pretty rare in the NBA. He did play all four years of college ball, but he came in the NBA ready to rock. Greg, we know a lot of teams using former NBA officials now working as consultants to teach their players how the refs see the game. I guess always looking for that edge. Yeah, Kevin, I think it's a great idea because philosophically sometimes as the rules evolve, players got to learn how to evolve with them. So not getting the calls you might expect, also how you communicate with officials. I think all of that stuff plays a big role in just furthering that dynamic between the officials and the players. Good. Great play by Green to set it up. Iguodala has got four points in the quarter. Cullen passes to Kevin Gomez. And the Pelicans miss again. Yeah, my expectations were that he was not going to miss that one. <laughs> he handles that kind of defense, especially on the inside. Wiggins from outside. Another three hey, for Golden Wiggins. State. Good to see Wiggins out there from the corner. Just great rhythm on that three. McCollum kicks to Ingram. Here's Ramon Gomez. Williamson trying to free himself up. No good from Henning Gomez. And they get it. He takes it up and lays it in. Just a much smaller defender on him. He does the exact thing at the right moment. Goes straight to the rim. Even Genzo passes to Wiggins. Another three for hey, Golden Drew State. Wiggins. And those aren't the type of three-point opportunities that you can allow in the NBA. Outside, Jones. Floats one. Pass to Hernan Gomez. And finished off by Hernan Gomez. Now the young Spaniard, Hernan Gomez, a good finisher around the basket. And here's Steven Chenzo from the arc. And another three for Golden State. Their third three-pointer in a row. Three and a wide open look for McCollum. They grab their own miss. Another shot out to Ingram. And he gets the whistle for the three That's second three call. Second and to make that Warrior mistake ball. at this time is tough on the court. to come back from. Well, not making things easier on themselves right now, that's for sure. Catching up on the changes for Golden State. Jamichael Green, he's checked in for Iguodala. Jonathan Kaminga comes in for Green. And Poole subbed in for Jamichael Andrew Wiggins. Green. Well, when you can score the ball and the defense makes adjustments your way to do that, Poole has to take advantage like that. Pass to Murphy. He kicks it to McCollum. The three. It's rebounded by Poole. And not a way to get out of a funk. He needs to be looking for good, solid, more efficient shots. Not the Jamichael wild one Green. he took there. His yes, shoot it. has been Jordan outstanding. <laughs> Definitely one of the reasons they're up in this game. Nance, right side. And he overshot that one, missing. Golden State's gotten the three ball working for them in the second half. They've hit three out of three shots from long range. And Jordan Poole gets it to go. That's their third straight make off an assist. McCollum passes to Alvarado. New Orleans moving it around. He feeds it to Hayes. Here's Nance. Nice work on the board. He's paying off with the basket. Nance has got eight points. Hard for opposing teams to box out Nance because of all the activity that Larry Nance Jr. has. Plays alive on every possession. Yeah, the Jackson chemistry Davis. has been terrific. Really Six impressed with their offensive execution. And the Pelicans the making a change. The Warriors. Alan Junis has checked in. Kaminga. Clay Thompson, he's checked in One for shot. the Warriors. Stephen Curry comes in for Dante DiVincenzo. 24 seconds left in the third. Looking to end his cold spell. McCollum, no good. And when you can't get anything to fall, it definitely gets in your head. 
especially if you're a player that doesn't get a lot of shot attempts. But otherwise, the mindset is, I just got to get the next one to go. And you don't want to put that much pressure on yourself. And so it's the Golden State the Warriors the with a huge the lead at the break. Your Safe to say there's no catching them today. The From Warriors. the field, they have been outstanding. Warriors. Amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. Don't go out. And let's take this opportunity now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, a terrific, unselfish play right here. Set up his teammate. And how about the setup this was? What an advantage if your off guard can make plays so valuable. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. And Gomez out there with Larry Nance. And it's Murphy in at the small forward. That's the Pelicans five. To my and man. Green gets it to go. Goes to How many times Jordan. have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket. Come on. And finished off by Hernan Gomez. And in terms of size, not your typical center. But man, he plays as big as any of them. Thanks to that terrific leaping ability. Here's Green. Pelicans pull it in. He's going to be shaking his head on that one. Knows he missed an easy one. Yeah, you can't make them all, and you for sure you'll want him taking that kind of shot. Three-pointer, Daniels drills it from outside. Daniels has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Warriors shooting just phenomenal here tonight. 73% from the field. Here's Green, and it's Golden State with another. Michael Green. And that's just cold-blooded right there. He's taking no prisoners. Confidence is sensational, and it feels like no one is going to stop him tonight from scoring. Shots good by Ryan Gomez. Maybe he's thinking at this point, man, somebody's got to help me. I can't do this all by myself. Pass to Green over Hernan Gomez. And it's Green missing. Well, if you believe in the numbers, that mid-range shot is not a high-value shot, even with little or no defense on you. That one good for two. Great marks just killing them on the interior. The Warriors have gone two or four from the field since we started the final quarter of play. Daniels passes to Hernan Gomez. And oh boy, a the contact there, but he gets the call. He will Green. shoot two. Front with the way shooting has evolved. Do you think they might move the three-point line further out at some point? I don't know if that's going to happen anytime soon, but I have heard some great ideas. And who knows? Gary Payton has checked in for Jonathan Kamenga. He's perfect from the line this time. Wow, they made every free throw here in the second half. The pass to Moody. Game moves along. Two minutes gone here in the fourth. And the pass to Alvarado. Not getting old here. Seeing him make that lead pass with perfect timing. Oh, what an impressive dribble drive. That replay brought to you by Mobile One. And putting that pressure on the rim. That's what it's all about. Threatening with that attack. Iguodala kicks to Payton. The Warriors miss again. New Orleans with the ball. This run now up to 13-2. Marshall with it. Dayton's there. Excellent D here by Iguodala. Tries it from the top of the key. Payton gets the bucket. Payton's got his first basket. For New Orleans, they've gone five of seven from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Strong work at that end of the floor. Hernan Gomez, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Here's Iguodala. Herman Gomez grabs the miss. Herman Gomez has got six rebounds in the game. Now Marshall. From deep three-point range, and that's out of bounds. New Orleans will retain possession. And the Warriors with some changes. Lamb is just in for two down. For the Warriors. And it's Dante DiVincenzo. And for Jordan Dante Poole. DiVincenzo. 
A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Here's Marshall. Second chance shot, and the layup is up and in. All those second chance points have given them a boost here in the second half, and that's a great way to cut into the lead. Left side, Lamb. Over Hayes. And some very quick Anthony points Lamb. for him on that possession. Assist from and sometimes the simplest day, play Vincenzo. is the best one. DiVincenzo made it. Pass to Marshall. New Orleans moving it around. Green with the block. And they get it back. And too much time in the lane. They get Three called for the possession violation. Warriors and that's a tough one. An experienced player in the pro game shouldn't be making that pass. And looking at that replay again, just a big time block right there. And big defensive plays like that will help them stay in control of this one. Warriors have gone four of eight in this fourth quarter. Two shooting it either remaining in the game. From the field. Two wins. Now here's DiVincenzo. He's tightly guarded. Here's Lamb. Buries it down low. Anthony Lamb. And Matador defense. That's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. Yeah, feels like Christmas right now. Just gift wrapping points. Here's Marshall. That one's not going to go. Some solid defense there from Lamb. From 12 feet out. And there are the Warriors Dante now with another Vincenzo. bucket. Well, you can't give that much room. Dante sees the light. And he's going to take care of business. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout. A dominating performance for the Warriors. It was a standout performance across the board. I mean, it was like watching a cat play with a mouse. They, they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted. And in terms of the season record, right, this is going to be their 18th win overall. And continued dominance against this team, winning both of their matchups this season. And you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for Stephen Curry. With all these assists, it's obvious how well that he can see the entirety of the floor out there. If an easy bucket is to be had, he'll find it. A nice Moses shot by Moody. But the truth is, they've had control of this game. Yeah, it looks like a veteran team tonight. Getting out on the road, playing with assertiveness, confidence, fully in control for this one. And with nobody getting a hand in his face in that painted area, that's a miss he's going to be disappointed with. Passes it to Payton. Over Marshall. Herman Gomez grabs the miss. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Here's Alvarado. From outside, off the mark. Outside, Lamb. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. This That's one was over well game. before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited team. about, Greg, but they, they sure never got it. They sure did. I mean, they just rolled into this win. They made it look really easy. What an efficient performance at both ends. And now we'll go to David Aldridge, who's standing by with our player of the game. Take it away, David. Thanks very much, Steph. All right, David, thank you. And that about wraps it up for Greg Anthony.